Good evening, good evening from this and friends. Good evening to you all, wonderful people of God. Thank you, Jesus. What's it where you are? This is our sister Masa coming to you with this evening teaching. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower for the righteous run to run into and they are safe. Blessed be the name of this God, brothers and sisters, with the key to our lives. We cannot do anything with this without this God, brothers and sisters, on our side. When God is for all who can be against you and I, the Lord is our life. Psalm 27. And our salvation, who shall we fear? The Lord is the strength of our life. Who shall we be afraid of? When the enemy and our foes come to eat our flesh, they will stumble and they will fall. He promised in his word, you know, God promises in our faith, families and friends. He promised in his word that he will be with us in the river, in the fire, Isaiah 43, verse 2. In the river, in the fire, in the water, whatever mountain it is. Whatever condition or such circumstances you might find yourself in, this God said He will be with us to the end of the age. Brothers and sisters, He is the God that ends up prayer by fire. He called walls to fall. He moved mountains. He's the only one we need to trust, brothers and sisters. Put our trust in the Lord, not man. Man will fail us, but God will never fail us. Let our trust be in this God, the creator of the heaven and the earth. Oh God, Abraham, thank you, Lord. Father, help us, oh God, trust in God in our generation. I just want to commit my families and friends, brothers and sisters on this platform, the body of Christ. I want to welcome you all, whatever you are. This thing is not a barrier. What's our country, time is not a barrier, brothers and sisters, all over the world, where people are. I want to tell God, thank you, that God, my people that have your people that have subscribed to this platform will be able to share this video, like and share, oh God, to people who need to listen to the word of Father. Some people, people, middle, some people need to be saved. People are broken out there. People are confused. People are panicking. People are frustrated. God, we need your word to go forth to your people in a hopeless situation to give them hope because you are the God that gave us hope. You are the light to our life. You are a strong tower. You are a defender. You are a refuge. You are a healer. Father, I just say, thank you, Lord, you are great and mighty God. Be highly exalted, be highly lifted, O God. You are the King of kings and Lord of lords, the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end, you shall grow no man. Be thou lifted or high in this place, O Father. I just exalt your name, I honor your name. I say, Jesus Christ, O Nazareth, Holy Ghost. I bless you for every family that has subscribed to this platform. I bless you for the youth, our children, our future generation. I bless you for the parents of our children. I bless you, O God, for everyone, O God, every soul in the world today, young and old, women, children, every family, displaced people, handicapped, blind, the lame, the deaf, the dumb, the nurses, the need, the, the, the doctors. O God, the people that drive the, 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 the plane, the pilot. The captain of the boat, they travel to the car, the vehicle. Lord, we take, thank you for everything that moves on land and sea. We take, thank you, oh God, for this Judah month. We take, thank you, today, oh God, today is the 12th of Judah. We want to take, thank you, oh God, for today is such a wonderful day. This is a day that the Lord has made. Psalm 1 and, and, and 18 verse 24. We will rejoice and be glad in it. The name of the Lord is a strong tower where the righteous go and run into and they are saved. Blessed be the name of the Most High God. Jehovah Jireh, all the potent, all the presence, all the saints. Father, we thank, thank you for your word, your power, your anointing. We're in love with your people in the diaspora, everywhere your people are in the world. Thank you for the gospel that is preaching all over the world on repenting and salvation, oh God. Father, I want to bless your name. Be highly lifted in this place. Be that magnified, be that glorified. Let me decree you, God, increase. This platform belongs to you, oh God. I'm just a vessel of honor. Thank you for your pressure and your wonderful people that have subscribed to this platform, that are supporting this platform, those that will share the video, those that will like, those that will support, oh God, one day, I'm going to know you're going to break up your people that will support this platform, support the charity, oh God. I want to thank you, thank you to God, for mass free. We're giving those that, that have subscribed, Facebook people that have subscribed on trusting God as well and trusting God in our generation on YouTube. Father, I just want to bless you, oh God, for this platform. I bless you for Instagram, for the people that have subscribed there and watching the Bible verses, reading the Bible verses, everything. Let the Bible verses, oh God, transform the life of people. Let your word change the life of people, oh God. Father, I just want to tell you, thank you. I want to bless your name, oh God, for today. Every activity is, oh Father, bless you, oh God, for the week. We bless you for this Wednesday and the end of this week, oh God. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for favor. Thank you for anointing. Thank you for peace and love. Thank you for opening doors that no man can close. And thank you for closing those doors that no man can open. You are our light and our salvation, oh God. You are the strong, our strong tower. You are the light of our life, oh God. 
We say thank you, O oh God. We bless your name. Let me decree you go increase in this place, O oh God. I'm just a vessel of honor on this platform. Do what no man can do. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Eshada Elohim. Thank you, Papa. I bless your name. I bless you for my life, O oh God. I come and say with the blood of Jesus. I bless you, O oh God, for the strength and the grace you gave me to bring forth your word to your people. I take, take you to know, God for the zeal and the desire, O oh God, of of of, of your your work, O oh God, and your works and the persevering, O oh God, and the consistency. Thank you, Jesus. Be with your people to read your word, to put you first in the last six years, first the kingdom of God, Matthew six thirty three, and every other thing shall be added unto you and our brothers and sisters. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May God bless your day. May God go before you and strengthen your quicker places. May God direct your first step. We pray for the pregnant women, the handicapped, the displaced people. We tell you, thank you, Lord God, for doing what no man can to bless your people, every home, every family. Let your Holy Ghost move like a mighty rushing wind, O oh God, to comfort your people, O oh God, to destroy, to chase out our enemies. You say you're going to chase them, O oh God. You say you're going to chase them, O oh God. You say you make their way dark and slippy, Psalm 35. Lord God, Abraham. I just want to say thank you. You are great and mighty God. Be that exalted, be that lifted up. Thank you, Jesus. You are highly lifted up, Father God. You are highly lifted up, Jesus. Jesus, Yahweh. You are highly lifted up, Jesus. Jesus. I say, Lord, you are highly lifted up, mm, Jesus, oh, Jesus. I say, Lord, you are highly lifted up, Jesus, Jesus. There is power in your name, Jesus, Jesus. There is miracle in your name, Jesus, Jesus. I say, there is healing in your name, Jesus, Jesus, Yahweh, you are highly lifted up, oh Jesus, oh Yahweh, I say, oh, you are highly lifted up, Jesus, Jesus, there is healing in the name, Jesus, Oh Jesus, there's the lay in your name, Yahweh, Holy Ghost. Mm, you are highly lifted up, Jesus, Jesus, Yahweh, you are highly lifted up. In this place, you are highly lifted up. In their home, you are highly lifted up. You are. There is a miracle in your name. There is healing in your name. There is power in your name. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your name is above all names. That name that break you, that set the captive free. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you for your people. Thank you, O oh God, for blessing our children, our future generation. Thank you for blessing our grandchildren. Thank you for blessing our parents, O oh God, with long life. Thank you for blessing us with long life to be able to eat the fruit of our children here as well. And bless our parents, O oh Father, whatever they are, O oh God, my mother. I say, thank you for my father, God, you have mercy upon him, whatever he is. Bless my mother with good health, long life, oh God. Increase her strength every day in the name of Jesus. Now we'll eat the fruit of our children here, oh God, in the name of Jesus. The place of the enemy, they be destroyed. The place of the enemy be destroyed against every parents, every parents. Today, the evil place of the enemy be destroyed and working against the parents, oh God. They don't want for the, 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 the parents to eat anything good from the hands of the children. The waste of the enemy will never prevail. What God says is the final saying. Thank you, Lord. When you bless no man can curse. When you curse, no one can bless. When you are for all, who can be against or no man? I just come to magnify your name. You are highly lifted up. Thank you for your word that is coming, oh God, unto your people this evening. This Wednesday evening, bless Wednesday evening to you all, wonderful people of God. Thank you for subscribing to this platform, just in going our generation. I want to bless God ever for you all that are subscribed and like the videos, that share the video. May God bless you all individually, collectively, every day. As you subscribe to this platform and share the videos and like. May God bless you all, families and friends. Blessed be his name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, families and friends. Father, I just want to say thank you. You are highly lifted up, Jesus. Mighty warrior. I want to say thank you to God. I want to bless you, O God, for you are great and mighty God. Blessed be your holy name. Brothers and sisters, families and friends. I bring you the message today about kind of money. 
those people that are kind of money, what the Bible say about people that are kind of money? Hey, Lord, help us. Kind of money people, brothers and sisters, they only seek after the things of the love of the flesh. Selfish, self-centered people are kind of money people. They seek after the things of the world. Spiritual money people seek after the things of the spirit and peace and life. Kind of money people only seek after the things of the world. Me, me, everything is about them, their self and their family. No more self. Self Self-centered. This is not a character for a Christian. We can love everyone and stretch our hands to people that are in need in this world. Brothers and sisters, not a big kind of money. Self-centered. Ignorance, unforgiven, pleasure of themselves, brothers and sisters, nothing they think about anyone, only themselves, always themselves. They come first in everything. They don't even put God first in anything. They come first, the money, that all. And what for them? That what tells. We should not be kind of money. Let me read for you Roman. Roman chapter 8, verse 6 to 7. For the mindset on the flesh is death. If you set your mind on the flesh, it leads you to death. Brothers and sisters, the mindset of you and I should not lead to the flesh or what we are going to destruction. Brothers and sisters, let us be spiritual minded people that seek after life and peace, to seek after life of people out there, to, to have humanity for people, love and care for people that are out there that are suffering, life that is destroying, people that are hungry, people that are thirsty, people that are confused. Brothers and sisters, thank you, Lord. I just thank you, Father. Brothers and sisters, this is what he's saying. He said the mindset on the flesh is death, but the mindset on the spirit, the mindset on the spirit is life and peace. When you have a mindset on the spirit, it's life and peace. It gives you life and it gives you peace into your mind and your soul. Thank you, Father. Help us, God, to have a mindset of the spirit. Because we are seeking after the things of the spirit. Galatians 5, 22, what it tells us to seek after the things of the spirit. What are the things of the spirit we need to seek after in this world, brothers and sisters, as believers? Born again believers. Repentance believers. Forgiven believers. Believers are seeking after the salvation with Christ Jesus. Long suffering, love, gentleness, kindness, meekness, faith, brothers and sisters. Yes, hope. These are the things he wants to seek after the things of the spirit. But when you are kind of money, you want to seek after the things of the flesh. Whatever your flesh leads to do, that way you're going to do. You got no thought of the spirit. What God is in, because when you are of God, the spirit that dwells in you and other and that it lead or that what the spirit see that what you desire, not what the flesh say. But I said, the flesh will lead all to destruction. The flesh will lead you and out to destruction. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The flesh will lead all to, to, to what? Destruction? Brothers and sisters. But the spirit will lead all to peace in life. Because we seek after the things of the spirit. So God will give us peace. And he'll give us life in this world that we live and have peace. No matter in the midst of the obstacles, the trials and tribulation, God will give us peace into our soul, into our mind. Hallelujah. In every condition, in every circumstances that we face, God will give us peace. We'll not be anxious, we'll not be, we'll not be depressed, we'll not be surprised. Our minds and heart will be relieved out of stress and depression. Thank you, Lord. That's seeking after the things of the Spirit, that, 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 that gave us peace in life. Because the mind is set on the flesh. When the mind is set on the flesh, you are hostage towards God. You can never be lenient with God. You are so hostage because your mind is set on the things of the flesh. Hallelujah. But when your mind is set on the things of the spirit, you are kind. Your spirit is kind. You do things in love and care. You do things wisely. You are not arrogant. You are not hostage. Brothers and sisters. You move according to the spirit. You have peace in your heart. Because your mind is on the spirit. 
when your mind is on the flesh, you are hostile to what even God that created you. You got nothing that come from your mouth that is good towards God. Everything that comes from your mouth is negative and negative against the cre the creator. You even get a spirit of fear. You will say anything you want to say against our creator. So you will say things against God, for it does not subject itself to the law of God. The mind of the flesh does not subject anything towards the law of God. No, it can never ever. It subject it the mind on after and wanting and things of, of lust of the flesh. That what it make you to set your mind on. You don't even follow God's laws. You don't want to listen to what the law of God is saying. What you desire is your own law and your selfish desire. This is what you get. Seek after and forget about God. It is not even able to do so. It can never ever, families and friends, let us set our mind on the spirit. Let us not be kind of minded, brothers and sisters. Let us be spiritual minded that seek after peace and love in this world. To have love and humanity and care and love for all your brethren out there, brothers and sisters. What happened to your brother? Be concerned about your brother when something offended it has offended you as well. When your brother is suffering, grieve with them when they are grieving. Rejoice with them when they are rejoicing. When someone is in need, show sympathy to people. And empathy with other people, brothers and sisters. Show sympathy in conditions that people go through in this world. Don't only be of yourself. You don't care about anyone that dying on the roadside. You care about only your money and your horse and your car. Brothers and sisters, we gotta be spiritual money. Now, Kind of money that God will bless us. Then I read for you Roman 1, Roman 1 20. It said, And just as they did not see fit to acknowledge God, they did not see fit to acknowledge God. No, they are not fit to acknowledge God in any way because they are kind of money. Their focus is not on God, their mindset is not on God, their mindset is on the world, what they can achieve. What the flesh need, the desire of the flesh to go after the taste of the loss of the flesh. This is what the mind seek after. They got no intention to follow after to acknowledge the way of God for the life. No longer because their mind is on lost. God gave they over to deprive to a deprived mind to do those what. Those things which are not proper. Because you know the truth. He say you should know the truth and the truth will set you free. You know the truth. They say that should not kill, that should not steal. He said, love that never has to say God is love. He loved us before we even God love of us before before we even before God love us before we even love God. So, brothers and sisters, tell me now. If you cannot acknowledge God and see the word of God and read the word of God that say you should love God because God first loved us. And you go about fellowshipping and connecting with people who disobey God's laws and regulations and laws and statutes. You are with the people that are living in the world. You connect with them. You will then do things together. There's no difference between you and them, brothers and sisters. So which means God will give you the mind to go ahead with any kind of decision you want to make for your life. Because this is the path. God gave up free will to choose between good and evil. But if your mindset is carnal, you have a carnal mindset, of course. You will not be you will not have the wake up call that what you are doing is evil because the spirit of the enemy of the great deception will continue to lead you in that path until you come to your senses, you'll be awakened and come to know Christ Jesus and the Holy Ghost. It's Romans chapter 1, verse 28. Then Romans 8 verse 7 says, Because the mind is set on the flesh. And hostage towards God, it does not subject itself to the law of God. Of course, it does not subject. We need to be subject to the laws and the statutes of God. If you are spiritual man, your mind will be subject to the laws and the statutes of God and the commandment. But when you are kind of man, you can never ever be subject to the things of God. You always subject to the flesh. And the spirit, the loss of the flesh and the loss of the eye. This is what you are subject to. 
brothers and sisters, God forbid, is not our portion, Lord. It's self, subject to the love of God, for it is even, it's, it, it is not even able to do so. I will be for efficient. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17 says, So this I say, in a frame together with the law, that you walk no longer just as the Gentiles. If you are a born again believer, accept Jesus when repented as at 238. Say, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Matthew 32 says, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Second Chronicles 7 14 says, My people who are called by my name, if they shall humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn away from the wicked ways. They're rebellious and violent. They're out of worship. I will yet for heaven. Their brutality. I will yet for heaven. I will forgive the sin. I will heal the land. That is repentance, brothers and sisters. If you recognize that, brothers and sisters, he want us to affirm. He said, So this I say, affirm, affirm together with the law that you walk no longer just as the Gentiles. Offering and esteem yourself from those Gentiles that walk in the world, that walk after the spirit of loss and, and the loss of the eye. Of esteem, offering yourself from those company. But so because you are in the world, you are not of the world, you are different. You are walking in the spirit. You know how to walk after peace and life, not this. Not destruction. You cannot go after destruction when the spirit of God is doing in you that is leading you to walk after the things of the spirit after life and peace. You cannot go back to the Gentiles as the Gentile walk. You cannot walk as the Gentile brothers and sisters in the footed day of what of the what of the mind. You cannot walk as Gentiles walking. You cannot walk as according to the spirit of the living God. That gave us seek after peace and love. Spiritual money. Colossians 121 say, And though you were formerly a lamp and hostile in mind, engaged in evil deeds. When you are kind of money, the enemy allowed to get yourself engaged into evil deeds. Those things that will bring reproach to you. Those things that cause those sound like rebelliousness, violence, hatred, jealousy, envy, killing, uh, 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 bitterness. That what it leads you to, brothers and sisters, to get into evil deeds. God forbid it's not our portion. We refuse that. We will walk spiritually with God Christ Jesus. Corinthians 2 18 says, Let no one keep deferring you. Let no man keep deferring you, lying for you, lying to you, cheating for you, stealing for you. Let no man keep deferring you of your pride by delighting in self assentment, abasement. You are self abased. You are yourself abased. You delight it only in yourself to be self centered. Everything is about you. Nobody else tell. Nothing else in the world tell about your aim and your objective, your, your vision, your property, your prosperity. He said, Let no man have the pride by delighting into self abase, abasement. And You have to be taking a stand, brothers and sisters, in worshiping, in, in the worship of the angels, taking his stand on vision that has seen inflated with our cause by itself, what well, flesh the mind. Let no one deceive you and I with the people defying all from the presence of God and making all to worship. To go into other worship things, all other worship that is not of God. Other worship, worshiping of mind controlling and uh, divination, sorcery, witchcraft, all the attitude of evilness and uh, meditation is not of God. That's uh, uh, so many people go into deep meditation, it's not of God, it's demonic. They are flesh, 
flesh the thing, but that's mine. You should not go to these things. Hallelujah. You know, before he taught us, taught us 150 say, to the pure, the pure, the Bible says only the pure heart will see God. Those are pure in the heart. They will see Christ Jesus. They will see the Heavenly Father on that day of judgment. Only the pure heart shall see God. Brothers and sisters, if you not humble yourself as a little child, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You got to become as a little child, behave, and humble yourself before God. Be submissive on God, authority and command. You cannot be a boastful, a boastful person and you enter the kingdom of God, you have to be pure in heart. He said, to the pure, all things are pure. To the pure, Titus 1.15, all things are pure. But to, the, but to those who are defiled and unbelieving, nothing is pure. Those that define the body and unbelieving, they cannot believe anything. They say there's no God. But they believe in the tree, but they don't believe God that created the tree. They are STS, they call it. People, they don't believe God, they, are believe, they don't believe anything. Brothers and sisters, do not be unbelieving like them. Do not be defiled. Nothing is... He said, who are defiled and unbelieving? Nothing is pure about them. If you are defiled and unbelieving God, you are unbelieving. You do not believe in God. You do not believe that Jesus Christ came and died on the cross for the mission of our sin. You are you are doubting God, brothers and sisters. But both their mind and their consent are defiled. The consent, the way they think, the way they see things are defiled, brothers and sisters. So they are not of God. So you cannot walk along with them. You got to separate yourself from the world, brothers and sisters. We are in this world. We are not of this world. We are walking by the Spirit. We are not walking for our fleshly desire. It's Christ that lives in us. It is, it is not no longer we that live this life, but Christ that lives this life in us. Because we got to do what pleases Him, not what we please. Thank you, Yahweh. That is the word of the Lord, brothers and sisters. Thanks be to God to you today on the YouTube channel. May the Lord God Almighty. Let me read the last scripture reading. It will be taken for 2 Corinthians 3 10. Let me go there quickly. 2 Corinthians. No, 2 Thessalonians, not Corinthians. I'm sorry. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 10. He said, For even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if you who not work, neither should you eat. Brothers and sisters, God is telling you and I, Jesus Christ said, He's telling you and I, God message is telling you and I, even if we, if you call yourself believer or non believer, whatsoever you can be, if you don't work, you should not eat. Hmm. He said, if you do not work, you should not eat, brothers and sisters. That is the word of the law. We need to work hard in this life and start going after people who want quick life and quick things. Freud people, brothers and sisters, don't ask the things of the kind of mind of people. They only want to fraud people. They want to get money quickly. They want to live their life for them to be out there. Everything is about them. Wear the best clothes. Get the best house for them to live in. But also, they're not spiritual minded people. They seek after only these things. We cannot be like them. We need to work hard with our, and work hard with our hands that God bless us. That God bless our labor. We should not fraud people. We should not defy the word of God. We should not go with unbelief. Thank you, Lord. We should not go unbelief, families and friends. Thank you, Jesus. And 10, 11 say, For we, yeah, that there were some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all. They are 
And so many people that walk in dishonor in the world today, as the word of God has been spoken since 2000 years ago in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10. I read 10, I read 11 now. He said, For we hear that some walk among you dishonorably, working not at all, but are basic bodies. Doing nothing, just basic with a body doing things they're not supposed to do. Brothers and sisters, just to throw people, they are basic with a body doing nothing else but to throw and cheat people. They are not working, but in the morning they sit in the basic that they are working. Brothers and sisters, these are the kind of people among us like this. And the Bible says, You do not what you do not eat. So you cannot live on throwing people for you to succeed. No, that's not possible. Now that as such we command. And exalt by our Lord Jesus Christ that with quietness they work and eat with their hand, with their what? With their prayer. But quietness and meekness or work, we will eat quietly. Thank you, Jesus. God wants also work and eat quietly through Christ Jesus. He wants to work and eat quietly our bread. We all know confusion, we all know fraud, we all know disturbances, we all know cheating people. Father, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for your word. I have come forth to your people. Oh, Father, let me de- thank you, O oh God, that God, you will speak to your people as your word have come forth, O oh God. Let me do it. Let me be. Let them be the door, O oh God. The hero and the door as well. Thank you, Jesus. Let them be the door and the hero of your word. He said, Blessed is the man that hear the word and do the work and do the word as live according to the word. So, Father, touch the heart of your people, convict them, O oh God. Hallelujah. Do not be kind of money. Do not be spiritual money. We all, as the body of Christ, as we are seeking after the God's kingdom and his righteousness, let us seek after righteousness with him and seek after our, our holiness with God. And not be, to, not be kind of money, but spiritual money to seek after life and peace. Hallelujah. And resist from unbelieving and defrauding people and throwing people walking this all day let them work and eat with our our labor in peace and harmony with christ jesus father bless your word in jesus name i pray amen the closing prayer will be taken from the book of numbers chapter 6 verse 24 to 26 that says may lord keep you us all may lord make a face to shine upon us may he be gracious unto us all and give us his peace that, pass, that surpasses all understanding from this and friends peace and live with shalom have a blessing and a wonderful wednesday evening to you all shalom